right, all right. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, whatever state, whatever city, whatever country that you are listening to me from. My name is Shofu Babalola Tiofilos, and on this same city, this same house, oh, this same amazing episode, this same amazing station of Insight Radio. And now you're live for the best experience show. We crush across different states, different city, different country. And you know what we do? We talk about pest, we talk about pest control, and we talk about every single thing that you need to know and apply as homeowner, facility manager, even as a professional pest control operator, the tips, the strategies, and the techniques to put into place and also to readjust and edit and, you know, get the job done. All right. You know, this time around, uh, this is the second episode for this 2024 and you know how we do it if you are tuned in on the inside radio you know a lot of pest control operators who have been waiting for this time this moment this season you know to participate to 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 share their own from their own wealth of knowledge in this aspect of uh, pest management right so what we do you know how we do it if this is your first time, sign into the chat box, go straight down the chat box, go to www.insightradio.net. And if you want to see this guy, like you want to see me and um, I have a client right here in the studio with me. If you want to see us live, you know what you do? Go straight down to YouTube or you go straight down to LinkedIn because we are streaming on YouTube and LinkedIn tonight. Right, so Insight Radio on YouTube and Insight Radio on LinkedIn. So you can be able to watch us directly and um, contribute. Also, you know how we do it. We take phone calls on the show and the phone lines will be showing on your screen. And for those who are listening on Insight Radio, um, first and foremost, I would really love to know where you are joining us from. What part of this world are you joining us from? What part of the city are you joining us from? If you're from Lagos, if you're from Ibadan, if you're from Nigeria, if you're from Zimbabwe, South Africa, and all those kind of states like that, all those amazing cities. Um, you know, before I delve into tonight's show, let me first um, introduce my guest here tonight. And after when I introduce him, then we start the show, then we revive, you know, we revive from last show because not everybody has actually, like, you know, gotten that out of what happened last week you know for people who did not tune in last week and um, for people who you know joined in and ended up watching the video on youtube i will give you a little bit summary about what happened last week but before we do that let me first introduce our guest yeah so over to you sir introduce yourself to the house good evening everyone my name is shufu ajibola um, right. i'm a real estate broker and an affiliate marketer Amazing, amazing, amazing. So for people, for those who are watching us on YouTube, then you start looking at our these faces are looking like twins. What's going on tonight? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let them know. Let them know. Mo let no, let them, them know. Let you don't, you don't know. cast them already. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I have my brother here, and um, you know we're doing this show tonight together, and uh, he's a real estate broker. So. There is an amazing aspect that has to do with pest control that people do not know or that we overlook is the part that we forget that real estate is also an amazing aspect of pest control. It's a collaboration that gets the job done, right? Mm, yeah, that's, yeah. It's, so, it's one of, you know, pest control. It's exactly. Just, it's just like one of the, well, let's say it's one of the things you first do exactly like, before you mm-hmm. before you before you before build you, a house before you even do anything at on the all, land at, yeah. at all so to actually like prevent termites you first have to do like mm, a pest control treatment exactly, and all. Yes, right, then right. even when you even build the house you also need the pest control treatment to get exactly. the house done so we'll go into that right but mm. before we start delving into last week we talked about effective vector management with mm. an amazing urban entomologist in person of dr phil Collar. what he talked about that really really got my attention last week was the fact that he said um, he did a research, right? He did a research, and that research saved the whole city of mosquito problem. So what they did was to um, carry out larvicide treatments in that area. And that research alone, they intended to do it as a research, just to reach out in that area, and it ended up solving the problem for that particular city. And they won them awards from the state government and even from, you know, from the United States and stuff like that. So it's an amazing aspect in the industry. You know that we really need to really look out into 
So yeah, that's exactly what we we're talking about. It was really, 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 really an mind blowing stuff that she um, that he carried out there. Just a simple strategy and the research that ended up being a solution. So if you miss that show, if you miss the the episode, all you need to do is really go straight down to YouTube. Go straight down to YouTube and just look for the last video on the Pest Experience show and you will be able to watch the full, 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 full concept of all this, right? Of every single thing that is happening live. All right. And you know, today we are talking about one particular aspect of pest management that is overlooked or that is ignored, rather. A lot of people ignore. And that is the aspect of the perspective of the client. What exactly the client perceive of us, right, as professional pest control managers, professional pest control operators, what exactly is expected from pest control operators? What are the requirements? What are the requirements that is expected of pest control operator, right? And also, as professionals, what are the things that we need to do for this client, right? What are the things that we need to do? And, you know, I would start from my guest. He's going to uh, tell us what are the things that the clients, from the client's perspective, we're going very, very practical tonight. What are the things, and even as a real estate broker, right, what are the things that you expect from pest control operator? First if you're going to hire one. Okay. If you're going to hire one, what okay. are the things that you, what are the requirements that you want from a pest control operator? Well, um, according to my own experience, first of all, it's, it, it depends on what you want to use the land for. If it's for farming, yeah. there are things that, that are expected for the pest control officer to do or, or the pest, pest control personnel to do. Okay. If it's for building or maybe if it's even um, like, like a property. Yeah, like a property that you want, probably want to rent or lease, you want to buy or something. There are different, different, different things to do. Okay, let, let me not, let me just break it down. If you want to buy a land now, yeah, like okay, after selling land to the to the owner, she grab. Yes. So, like the best thing you just need to do first of all, invite someone for if if it's for um agriculture, yeah, you know there are some if if it's a land that that has been that has been um has been I just been there for a while, like for a very long time. Yes. You know, it's super, I've been infested with different, a lot different, of different insects, pests, yes. especially termites. That's true. Uh -huh. That's termites, true. we have um, snakes and all. So the best thing to do before bush burning and all those are you nothing know, to eradicate them first. Because all these all these all these pests are very, very, very funny. They are very funny. They have they have a way of I know yeah I know you know about that. They have a way of you know reproducing. Reproducing and then uh, 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 you know, like coming back again. Yes. When it comes to something like um like buying buying of house, actually yes. if it's house that that probably the the the, um, the owner that wants to sell it and has lived for a very long time, it will have been infested with lots and lots and lots and lots of. Insects, insects yes, over time. Bears, especially rats, cockroach, and everything. So for the for the buyer that wants to get that kind of property, first mm. thing you need to do is to fumigate the building. Yes. After after buying it, that's the first thing you need to do. First step before you even move in or anything, because you don't you don't want a kind of situation that when you when you're moving without taking all those precautions. Yeah. When you move in and. You start complaining of of any uh, pest that is really affecting. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm 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 falling sick. I have, I have malaria every every two two weeks. I be saying this one person that is doing you or something. So <laughs> uh, hey, hey, <laughs> so it's so it's just it's just this. It's part of like I I feel this uh, um this this you know real estate and pest, pest control, control really yeah go like it really goes hand yes hundred percent. You understand know what I'm saying? So we're so striking a deal after this thing now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so really go hand in hand we yeah. actually help each other true yeah. mm -hmm. so now but so, you know if you're going to hire a pest control operator to deal with that land mm -hmm. right what are the things like you expect these guys to do in terms of okay communication they communicate with you right so one, one thing about pest control operator or pest control is that mm -hmm. You see, most pest control people mm. forget that the success of their operations on site 
depends on the secrets that they are hiding from the client. Mm, that's that's true. That's true. You have, you Do you have, get you it? Have a point there. Yeah. Do you get it? Mm. So the secrets they hide from their clients is the major major solution for the effective results that they are getting. So let me explain that. Most people would would they would not tell their clients mm. that oh I'm using X Y Z type of chemical to deal mm. with this pest problem. Right, mm-hmm. so they just go on sites and say, "Okay, I have a job," and they go to the sites and just go and do the job. But they've forgotten that collaboration with this client would actually give you sustainable results for that job. Right, yes, so it goes too. beyond. Uh, I want to get a job. Communication. Mm-hmm. Do you get it? So those are some of the requirements that these pest control operators. I mean, people like real estate brokers like you would be wanting pest control operators to do communication like proper communication i want to talk to i want to know the process like i really have some clients i really want to know what exactly do you want to do on my site on my house Mm -hmm. what are the things that you want to do how do you want to operate what are the step-by-step guide so those things are the major major concerns that some of these clients really want to put into place right so if you look at all those things yeah yeah so it really it really 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 guides Really, really guides guides space control operator, and guides the results, like the effectiveness of that result. Right. So, if we put all those things into place, if we put all those things like communication with the client, we put education into into with the client. As a real estate broker, I really believe that that would help. Right. So, another thing is, another perspective where we need to look at is the fact that what what are those um, loopholes mm. loopholes that you feel like okay um if i'm going to hire if i'm going to hire a pest control what are those particular things that you see in a pest control operator before you can call a person number one thing i usually do is mm. is uh, based on referral referrals you know? yeah, yeah yeah if if i can't those you know i can't i can't there are a lot of people that are actually doing pest control yeah. So if if you go online, sa- just put, just search for pest control, pest control operator, you get hundreds of people. But but you know you can't know the one that will do the work efficiently. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You won't know true. the person that will do it efficiently. So but wait to wait to wait to wait to. You can actually know the one that will do the work, in the sense that it depends on the content. I'm actually I'm actually going there. Uh-huh. I'm actually going there. Uh-huh. So the reason the reason why I said you can't know. The one that you, the person that will do the work efficiently is because, you know, it, there are some people that you know they use. Let's say they they, are, they have they have a way of doing their things. Mm, they are not true. really that sound. They actually under they are really, um, they are hiding under some people's shadow. Mm, mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? So this, so like the, like the way I actually would do my own thing is is just mm. based on okay okay let me let me get let me let me know. Someone that has actually worked with this person before, yeah, and and there was no issue, no complaint. So let me just let me just get this. So let like let me just get okay. Ah, okay. Do you know SB fumigation? Okay, okay, um, okay, bro. I, I need someone that can help me from get my land. Actually, like okay, s- ah, referrals ah, speak know, faster. Faster. Like it closes the deals you won't, faster. You won't need to stress yourself as long as as, as long as no someone that knows no somebody that someone <laughs> that knows somebody that you know that that actually vouch for you that okay, don't worry, yeah. don't need to stress yourself. You yeah. won't you won't even need to ask him any questions. Just okay, ah, I met you through this person. That's true. That's okay. true. Those 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 go with the deal. Exactly, exactly. So, I, I think that, that that's that's like a very good aspect. Like referrals mm. is referrals. That's that's that the main thing. Yeah. We, you know, you can't just pick anybody. And exactly. actually, actually, if it's something that will just jeopardize my own my own work, I don't want something that my clients start complaining after. Uh, because yeah. because you know. Uh, really being selling land real estate um, is also is beyond buying and selling of land and properties. Yes. So it depends on your your customer satisfaction. Mm. If your and 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 long term. Exactly. You know, if if I should sell you a good property that has no um all these bed bugs, mosquito rats. True. You know, you can actually refer me to another person. Exactly. And it was true. The pest control True, operator, operator mm. actually got mm. the mm, business deals. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> so so you can say we actually go and and, 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 mm, and I, I, I I know that's the reason why I actually 
brother in uh, point of referral. Mm, no, true. I can't just start going from one place to another to like to start bringing one person to test to test that. To so test. I need to know someone that well, has exactly that I've used the service. That I've used that person before. So mm-hmm. yeah. You know, it, uh, this this thing has two ways, right? It has two ways. Let's say for instance, you know, in, in your in your real estate parts, mm-hmm. your real estate parts, like it really you can easily like pick a a referral, pick based on referral easily. Mm-hmm. But for homeowners who are actually like shy to tell people, okay, I have bed bugs, <laughs> it will be hard. <laughs> <laughs> like, it will be hard. It will be hard. You know, to like actually imagine a client calling, you, ah, bro, I have, I have a ah. bed, I have a bed bug. Maybe <laughs> no, no. I, me, I can't. I know, I know, I know. I receive calls like that. You, did you, it, you have that experience. Three, three a.m. Yeah. I they receive call. Ah, I'm SB, telling you. Ah, I'm saying mosquitoes. I'm, 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 I'm not <laughs> sleep. I, I don't like, sleep. You no, know, there was a guy that called me yesterday. I was like, I don't feel, guy. Honestly speaking, you be will be man. No, no, <laughs> let me let me tell you this. Thing. Let me now tell you the story. You know, um, radio presenter. You know the hide secrets for me. <laughs> you know me. No, I you know I will. I will. The, the, the guy. The guy called me. He was like, "SB, I want you to deal with bed blocks for me, yeah." And I gave him my price. He said my price is too expensive. And I told him, okay, you know what? Expensive. And that we were supposed to change you the job that deal. That I was in Lagos. I was supposed to do the job that day. Like, must go never, uh, the bed bug never bite down. Never bite, never chop you. Wait, wait. <laughs> so when, when, he, when, he, when, he, when I called him, I was like, okay, should I start coming to your place now? Because he didn't make payment. I mean, I was planning to leave Lagos mm. that day to Ibadan, mm. right? That's that same day. I was like, he was like, ah, no problem. See, like, money, he doesn't have the money now, right? I should go. Later on, he called me yesterday and he was like, you ah, won't have a choice. You don't see, we be man. Tell you. Don't <laughs> <laughs> you know, see, I said, I don't chop him. He will call you. He will find the money. He find, <laughs> only speaking, the guy paid that money yesterday. I swear, he paid the money. He, go pay. he paid uh, the money yesterday. Uh, uh, <laughs> don't chop him. Finish. Like, don't chop him. It was actually even bed bugs, actually. It was bed bugs. It was okay, like bed bugs. He said, uh, he said uh, before, like you know what he did? He said that day. He said when they, when they got the price, he was like, ah, let me just go and buy this common insecticide and go and use it. He common used it. So when he, when he was using it, he just lifted the chair up and he started discovering uh-huh. that, ah, almost, how can you pull <laughs> <laughs> I said, I, I know we laugh. I know, I know the, I know the, the annoyance about bed bugs is that mm. they give bed, like, th- th- they give rapidly. Like, rapidly. Like, if you have one in your yeah. house, that, don't, don't disturb yourself. Don't, don't you. go and throw that bed. Those are <laughs> throw the bed. Wait, or wait, wait, you, or you let, burn let, it. Me, let me let me clarify that part. You see, if you if you throw your sofa or mm. your furniture away because of bed bug infestation, mm. yeah, you are not solving the problem, mm. but you are increasing the level of infestation. That's mm. one. Infestation. Number two, mm. if mm. you apply too much of insecticide, which is what that guy did, if you apply too much of insecticide. Over application of insecticide will not stop level mm. of resistance of bed bugs. It will mm. increase them. To increase them. It will increase them drastically. Now let me now explain. First thing first, if you lift up your bed or your mm. sofa, if you lift it up and you carry it from one location to another location, mm. bed bugs stay on the edges. So they okay. tend to get disturbed at that particular location they are staying. Mm. So when they when you shift them away, they will move from that location and change location to entirely. Or they will fall on the floor. And when they fall on the floor, bed bugs are societal insects. Like they work together in colony. Mm-hmm. So they will always look for a new location to hide. Hmm. Do you get it? Hmm. So that means you are not solving I'm the problem. Learning, I'm learning something. <laughs> exactly. From the client's perspective. So we need to communicate mm-hmm. with the clients. <laughs> so you get, you get it now. So they tend to spread instead of them to reduce. You reduce. can see throwing away the chair. Hmm. Is the problem. It will it 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 increase, increase the level of infestation. Increase the problem. Hmm. Now, number two again is over application of insecticide, which people don't know. When they think, okay, I just want to have bed bug infestation, they buy this common snipe B. They get it. Uh, you get what I'm saying? They get it and they start to use it. Do you know that bed bugs, your room or your apartment is not the major source of bed bugs? Hmm. Bed bugs work based on transfer. It means that Transfer. somebody needs to be infested before you get infested. Hmm. Are you following? I'm now, feeling, if somebody is infested before you get infested, that person must have used that common insecticide because insecticide is common. Hmm. Right? So the funniest thing is that people think if you don't buy Snipe B, they get DDV. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. If you don't get DDV, they get no P. You hmm. understand what I'm saying? So all those things are brand name, but they fall under the same active ingredients. Snipe B have DDVP as active ingredient. 
Didi, fun fun. He gets. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I you know what I'm saying. saying. Didi, fun. He has DDVP as his active ingredient, mm. right? Um, what's the other name? No P also have DDVP as active ingredient. Then where is the where is the difference there? Hmm. You are applying the same so insecticide. It's the same. The same insecticide, insect. right? Oh. So when they use the same insecticide. When you use the same insecticide, it doesn't solve the problem, but it it increases level of station. Now mm. you have used that same product. Mm. Me, I'm using that same product. Bedbug have one specific feature, and that is resistance. So they gain resistance a lot. Mm. Now, do you know that in a family, if the grandfather is asthmatic, there is possibility that the grandchildren or the great grandchildren would have symptoms of asthma. Yeah. It's the same thing that happens with bedbug. So if they have resistance. The younger ones will also have resistance. resistance. Right? So you are applying the insecticide that has that, that the bed bug that have gained resistance to already. If that's oh. to one, that <laughs> one eh, comes to your place, it multiply. Mm. All the, and they multiply is like you see, fast, all of them now have rapid. that exactly, exactly. So all of them now have this resistance ability. Mm. You are saying you are using that same product. Do you see that the level of resistance will not reduce? It will be increasing. It's increasing. That's true. You have a point. You get it? So mm. be, pest control, yeah? It now leads us to the past that pest control is not just about um, spraying chemicals or doing these things. It's about mm. communication with the clients. Communication. So, if I want to treat for you now, the first question I'm going to ask you is, what is the pest issue? <laughs> right? Okay. If you tell me the pest issue is bed bugs, I know that you must have tried something because bed bugs no allow you to sleep. Like, like. You get it? How you won't sleep? How you won't sleep? <laughs> I'm saying, me I, receive, I go see. I'll be awake. You won't sleep for the whole day. I'll be awake for the whole day. I won't. I don't go receive call by that Bed time. Book. Uh-uh. Three a.m. Two a.m. Nine, nine, and they're very active in the you night. You could see, bro, Alpha. Now night is they active. You could see, bro, Alpha. I beg. I get bedbug <laughs> issue. Like, how can I solve it? Bedbug issue. I you. I won't come so far. You get it. So now, <laughs> if I don't ask you now, mm. what exactly are the products that you've used before? I can come up with a different product. Mm. But you know that product that I might come up with might be the same class of active ingredients that you've used. That you've tried. Mm-hmm. Do you understand? So some of them might go use and this aerosol, like all some of this aerosol spray, mm. like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like all this hey. aerosol spray, like spray that you use for mosquito, yeah. right? Those things have active ingredients in them. We need to understand the active ingredient of some of these things, right? Mm. And know mm. that, okay, I'm not applying the same Product, product that you have applied before mm-hmm. you see where communication comes in mm-hmm. so now i do you know what i said before i said the success of a pest control operator it depends mm-hmm. on the secrets that you are hiding from the clients imagine yellow no so if you don't tell the clients that okay i applied so 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 and so mm. i use this 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 and this how I want to get results. Hmm. Now, the clients will now call you and tell you that, ah, Omo, I'm still seeing more bed bugs, though. I'm still seeing cockroaches. Hmm. Because the bed bugs you are trying to deal with, they've gained resistance. Yeah. The roaches you are they're trying the, to deal with, resistant to, to these that things. particular one, You yeah. get it. And now, they, you know, I had a training with someone yesterday, and one particular aspect that we really delved into was evaluation. Hmm. You need to properly evaluate pest control problems first okay. how many years have you been dealing with bed bugs that's the question you need to ask hmm. how many years you get <laughs> <laughs> how many years have you been living with bed bugs <laughs> <laughs> how many years have you been living with bed bugs <laughs> you know me me uh, you know i do more of a bed bug so you people have been dealing with bed bugs over the years. <laughs> you do more, do more with bed, so, bed bugs now. Bed bugs more. Exactly. Ah. So they're always telling me that uh, you know this thing. Eh, I've I've burnt my chair because of it. <laughs> <laughs> you know this thing. Eh, you know, my brother. You know, you go just help me. I've I've threw away a lot of chairs. <laughs> you see this one I'm using. I just bought it. Just bought it. And I, they are now you there. You see. <laughs> you. See, you will still see them. Ah, oh Bed Lord. bugs. First country is amazing. They're very stubborn. <laughs> First country is amazing. <laughs> you know? They're very stubborn. You see, ah, you see them. Ah, no, 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 no. So for people who are joining on, on our uh, YouTube, you are listening directly on YouTube. Okay, we have 
Sanctified fumigation on our, ins uh, on our inside radio.net. Thank you. He said, Hi, hi, how are you doing? Good evening, sir. Um, if you want to participate or drop a comment in, the, in our conversation, or maybe just have a call with us and talk to us here, all you need to do is call 0916967. 1279 0916967 That's the phone lines to call in directly to the studio. If you want to, you know, talk about your experience. I mean, you know, it's best experience, man. So let's talk about our experiences. And sometimes when I when I look at my experience in the industry, yeah, I'm gonna be laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be laughing. You you would have a lot of experience ah, with, with, with different clients. With different clients. With different problems. With different problems, <laughs> problem, my brother. Different problem. <laughs> Somebody could just call you say, ah, I get roaches over my kitchen. Uh, eh? I be rats. I don't I don't listen to crack crack of my kitchen. <laughs> it's, it's from the roof. From, from the, the ceiling. Roof, from the roof. Oh god. You know, rodents are actually nocturnal insects. So you, I mean nocturnal rodents are nocturnal yeah, they're pests. Active in the night. In the night. So you always see them in uh. the night, coming out in the night, right? So if you see them in the night, they come out in the night. There is something. Mm. When you tell me that you have rodent infestation, first thing I need to ask you is sanitation hmm. right That's have true. you noticed their entry and exit points exit point. so point. no matter the type of product that you are using to get rid of rodent they will always come back hmm. you get it so for people, rodents for rodents you know they will always come back, they will always come back. Hmm. but something is very important and it's very very critical to be able to solve rodents problem they call it exclusion practice Exclusion practice. Exclusion practice. Okay. Exclusion practice now involves that you seal up all the entry and exit point of rodents. Mm -hmm. So to deal with rodents properly, you see where communication comes in. The success of your work depends on the secret you're hiding from the client. Mm. Now, if you tell a client that, okay, you know what? I want to solve, I mean, you ha the client complains that, okay, I have bed bug, I mean, sorry, rodents problem, mm. right? And the next thing you go there to do is to put in bait, put in a bait station, or put in gum for the <laughs> client. My brother, this time around, rodents they fly gum, they, they chop ourselves. <laughs> 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 there was a client that, that sent me a picture. <laughs> Brad, I saved it on my phone. It is the poison. It, no, this one chopped the gum, you know. He it chopped, chopped the, the gum. The, the gum. Oh, the gum get the gum. You know, probably hard off. He be the pal. For this new boy economy, <laughs> no grip for anybody. No <laughs> oh, when this one chop this, he chop the gum. You know the funny thing? Some, some of these people will not put, they'll put their um, bread or something on top of the, on top of the rat gum. They go chop, they go chop bread. bread. They go run come out. At the gum. <laughs> chop <laughs> <laughs> You get it. So now, no matter the gum or mm. the bait you are putting around just to solve rodent's problem. Mm. If you don't seal up all your entry and exit points, brother, that waste. A waste Total waste. Mm. So you need to communicate with the clients. For pest control of people who are listening, you need to communicate with the clients. Tell them exactly, ah, Omar, you see, for me to get this job done for you, right, I need to install this and this to be able to block, seal up all the entry points for these mm. rodents so that they don't come in and they don't go out again. Yeah. Right? For those who are listening on, on InsideReady.net, you can use the chat box to, to join the conversation or you can also, you know, call us on our studio line 091-6967-1279. This is Space Experience and let's talk about our experiences in the industry. All right. Right? So back to that, to the rodent, rodent activity, communication is very, very, very mm. important. Then another thing is educating the client. Hmm. You now see you've gotten why you know you said something before we talked about that over application and the uh, disposing of tears. Hmm. Clients sometimes feel like I have bed bugs, and the next thing they think about is straight away the chair. Yeah, but that but that won't solve really solve the problem. Your mind don't change now nah, because I don't educate you. <laughs> <laughs> so you know that's you know that we learn every day. You get it. We learn every day. You get so it now. That's one of that's one of those things. You know, so it brings me it brings us back to the topic of pest control requirements, the perspective of the client. Mm. What exactly 
is the client's perspective. What exactly are they thinking about the industry? Mm -hmm. You get what exactly? How can they participate? It's not as if you're to, going to do pest control now, and the next thing is okay, come back in the next 24 hours. All of them pack their family and they go out. They mm -hmm. leave the house scattered. You get it? That's they leave true. their food items scattered everywhere. So it means it's not going to make your work easier. But if, as a post control operator, if you send in your checklist way forward to these people, you send your checklist to them and tell them that, okay, these are things that you want them to do, to do before, before you come. You, come mm. you are getting the work like ASAP. Like you get your result easily. But you now know not communicating with these people and you're just thinking that to would. I mean, I just want to come and do the work and you get the problem and you get it solved. Like, those ones come and assume, just assume, 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 assume that they know that they, that they should arrange their... <laughs> ah, you work. <laughs> you that work. You pack everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you work and work. I'm telling you. But sure, they've paid you, sir, so <laughs> you do the work. <laughs> you do have to do the work. So, but at some times, when it comes to, when it comes to bed bugs, mm. there's what they call no, pre no prep. It's a system by Jeff White, right? Jeffrey White. No prep method. It means that the client, and again, this is like an advantage to pest control operators, right? You can have a package in such a way that when the client wants to deal with bed bugs or anything, mm. the next thing you tell them is don't touch your bed because when they touch their bed, they lift it up and it solves, like it starts that problem entirely. It spreads the bugs. It spreads. Right? Yeah. So don't touch your bed, but just pack your food items. So the remaining work, you do the rest. Like your sofa, their sofa and all, you do the rest. Just maybe their bed spread, they pack it up and they wash it, sun dry with hot water. But if you don't communicate this thing with these people, they can just go and tie that bed spread, tie it inside a liner, and <laughs> bed bug will be there. It'll be there. You get it. So after the after the immigration tre treatment, they will, they will return back the bed spread. Return the bed. <laughs> <laughs> You see, you see, you see, most times, first control operator, now we can go and do ourselves. Mm -hmm. You understand? Now, now we do ourselves. <clears throat> Let me now explain this thing. I was having a training with someone yesterday, and one thing I told her is that, you know, to deal with cockroaches, especially German cockroaches, they're always in the kitchen. Those, in, those roaches that you see in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. If you don't properly evaluate the level of infestation of German roaches in the kitchen, right, and you're not going to put in jail bait. You just put in gel bit of coffee. One, two, three, four. Okay. You think you don't want to waste your gel bit. Mm -hmm. And you not think that all the roaches will feed on those pan, two, three. <laughs> oh, all, those, all those, all those stop all, stop, stop stop all all roaches. So you think that all those, you know, the way the, the way the bits is, it's just like as if you, you don't, you don't need to, you, one mistake person used to do is that they take the bits and they just draw, they'll draw it like this. It's like a okay. bit gone, like as if like a syringe. So they draw the bits and do this, but it's wrong. You have to put it like small points, small points, small points, small points, small points. But if you don't put so much of that gel bit in that place, okay. if the roaches can get access to food, they will eat the food rather than eating the gel bit. Hmm. So the way the gel bit works is that, in fact, this is exactly why personal interpreter needs to tell their client all these things. If, you, if I want to get rid of cockroaches for a client, the mm -hmm. first thing I'm going to tell them is, I'm going to be applying gel bits in your place. And the gel bits, the way they work, they work based on domino effect. It means that okay. when they eat the bait, within three to four days, they die. Depending on the type of bait. There's what we call slow acting bait and fast acting bait. There are some bits that when they eat it, they die immediately. There are some that immediately. Uh, there are yeah. some that they eat it and within three, four days, it starts to like kill them gradually. Mm. You get so some of these bits, yeah, when they eat on it, when they feed on it, the other insect the other roaches that are alive will start to see that other root, that dead roach as a food. Oh, so they feed wow. on themselves. Feed on themselves. Wow. You wow. get it? So it I'm wipes just, up. <coughs> Excuse me. So it wipes up all the whole colony at once. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? But now, before you can put in gel bits, the kitchen cabinet must be neat. Must be free of food. Must be free of other food source. Food. Because the gel bits is a food source. Do you understand? It's made from gel, like all this uh, peanut butter. Okay. So they now mix active ingredients there, right? So it's just attract them and kill attract them. Attract them and eat. They feed on it. I wish I can actually have a video. Okay, I have one here. Let me, let me, for those who are going to be using on YouTube, 
I'll show you that exactly how it works. So you can see you can see exactly just that the beat. Oh, this is the visible door, I guess. Right? So they, they go there, they feed on it. They feed on the gel beat. When they feed on it, they tend to die within three to four days. Right? Mm. But if the client now puts in what they call liters of food, hmm. like rice, rice. <laughs> or even if they put water, and they even attracted to palm oil. Apparently, they didn't chop anything. Palm oil. They didn't chop anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Any well. soup, clothes. If you, if you open clothes, aunt, they even they chop clothes. Yes, I have. Uh, I have. I have a picture of that one that client sent to me. You know, they mm. are, they eat clothes now. They it's eat clothes. They so eat now, if there are food. other food source, we call it mm. alternative food source. If they are alternative food source, they would rather go to alternative food source and enjoy that one. Because it's more mm. even more delicious than this one that is just like half big, mm. because you misactivated into it. Okay. You get it. So if a pest control operator do not tell the client that this is what I applied, do not wash your plate immediately when you finish eating. Mm. Do not store your food anyhow. All your food should be properly stored in an airtight container. If you don't communicate it, it makes the work useless. Mm. Do you know the funniest yeah. thing? The gel bait will dry up. Wow. Just wait, so like how many how many hours? Within those, 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 those Because I, I've done I've done treatments and seven days after we tend to go back. Mm. There, was a, there was a treatment we did last um, last two weeks. So I went back again and discovered that the gel baits that we applied, some of them are dried up. Oh. So it means that the, the gel baits will not be palatable for the roaches to feed on again. Mm. You get it? So, if the gel bed is mm. not palatable, other food source that is around is more palatable for it's them palatable to feed it. For them. So, they would rather go into that one than eating the gel bed. And ignore the gel bed. And ignore the gel bed. You see where communication comes in. Oh, that's true. So, the, the secret point. of a professional pest control operator depends on the secret. I mean, sorry, the success of a professional pest control operator depends mm-hmm. on the secret. That the pest control operator is ID. Am I there? Oh my goodness. You know, educating the client is very, very important. Yeah. It's very, very important. Communicating with the clients, tell them this is these are the things. Mm-hmm. This is how I'm gonna do it. Some people feel like ah, if you tell them the way, they will go to the market and buy the products. My brother, if your product is effective, if, if they they'll they'll come back. Don't don't not, even go. Not that they will come back. Don't even they go. Even, you know the funniest thing is that <laughs> the product that they will get outside is agrochemical, not public health. Okay. Because there are few shops, few stores that buy. If I'm buying product for, I'm buying a gel bait bottle for thirty two thousand naira. You where you want treat one room, you go buy thirty two thousand naira this bottle. <laughs> no fit now. Nah. You no know fit. No fit. You get it. Like uh-huh. so, it's different. So most, most people feel like, ah, okay, if I tell them the secrets, mm. they'll go to the market and go and buy it. Mm. They'll go to the market and buy it. If clients cannot afford me, I tell them I go and buy my insecticide product. Mm. Okay. You get it? If you can't afford That's my fair. service, That's go and buy my insecticide products. It works perfectly well. Even the operations that we do, our bed bug operations, because mm. of this, the fact that some of these clients actually use popular insecticides, we produce our own product that we use. Wow. So all the products we use on site, we produce them ourselves. Mm. Right? Mostly when it comes to insecticide, we produce them ourselves. Apart from gel baits and maybe some public health pesticide that we get outside. <coughs> but when it comes to insecticide, we use for bed bug treatment, we produce them ourselves because of resistance. Right? So those are the major, major things. <coughs> Another amazing part. Where pest control people need to actually like focus more on is the fact that we need to see an um, um, identification of pests okay, as a like you need to identify, identify the type of pest pest that is affecting, affecting the client. The client, all right. Some of these clients tend to start to reach out to me and say, "SB, I want to get rid of German cockroaches in my apartment," and I'm like, "Ah, ah, she's not so that they read." 
Je is not a study etymology ni afara. You get you get wife, you get picky, you get job. Why are you looking at etymology? Uh, <laughs> you get But I discover that the contents that I pull mm. out, I tend to identify this best. Okay. Hmm. So you you've, you've reduced the problem. I've reduced the problem yourself. for the client and I've reduced the problem for myself. For yourself too now. My G. Hey now. Chow, 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 chow. <laughs> get the <gist>. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know. Like I don't. I don't when need you, to say story. When you uh, hear, when you don't even sometimes, sometimes this really helps because you don't even need to even. You don't need don't. There's no long talks. I'm telling you, no, no long, long talks, talks at all. So just uh, okay. Well, um, I have this so 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 so, so <laughs> issue. I have this big bug in my you, room. You get it. I have this. this uh, yeah. Let me let me let me tell you. I told somebody yesterday during the training yesterday. I told her that you know the contents I pull out on my platform. Some of these competitors will be like, ah, "Oh boy, then try Shiri Ara if we are." You get it's like he he de- post all this process because everything I do, I show my process. Mm. So you as a competitor will can go there and steal the idea and use it. Do you understand? Kukomi, you are not my client. <laughs> you understand? Mm. You are not my client. So me, I'm doing that for my own clients to make my work more easier yeah. and again to attract more clients without mm. saying too much. You get this. You get this. It's strategy. It's strategy. <laughs> well, but because some will be like, ah, you know, you know, this mm. thing actually applies to real estate too. Yeah. Because because we have a way we have ways of getting our own clients. So you, you know it. you know each and everyone has their own strategy. You get it. So if so if I'm posting probably have probably if, if it's on Facebook I'm posting and like and like and I get more customers from. Facebook yeah. and I'm like okay okay uh, okay well, I actually got this client you, you know you know if you post reviews now yeah okay, uh, I met this clients from Facebook and I'm like okay he's getting from Facebook, Facebook. so they tend okay. to even go to Facebook so go to Facebook <laughs> and uh, hey, you know each <laughs> if your your own strategy might not work for most of them like might not work for you exactly exactly so so that's what most people don't really even understand, understand. so they be like uh, hey, okay 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 he uses Eh, uh, gel bits, Abby. Uh, eh, hey, maybe okay. they use gel bits. Let me show you gel bits. Do not use that but, gel bits. Gel but you, but you know, you know, you know, there's a way you, there's a way you, you apply your own. You get it. That that him will not last. Will not, will not know. Do you know that? How will they will apply his own? Is that what I just said? Like uh, some uh, of them uh, might not apply the proper quantity of the gel bit. There is even proper. There's, there's proper there's quantity. quantity. <laughs> Can you imagine? You see how you see how this thing is. You see how we do ourselves for this country. <laughs> <laughs> But boy, boy, he's mad like, ah, thank God, thank God. I'm yeah, I'm already the using the secret. You understand? Let me use the secret. Okay. Okay. Uh, there's, there's, there's something. A Jesse pull me a far. Where the far she pull me? Ah. Oh, but this is interesting. That's why. Ah, God, that's why. You see, some of them will feel like, ah, mm, this machine that you're using, eh, I want to go and buy it. Where do you ah. buy it from? Wait, I'm like, like, you show okay. them the way. Ah, before call. But, but <laughs> you know, you know, it's like that, it's like that machine issue. Mm. You know, there was a time somebody came and there was, um, let's say, the person wants to, like, um, like renovate his apartment. Yeah. Like, um, the, the whole building. Do mm. you understand? So, he brought someone. The, 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 the owner actually brought someone himself. Yeah. So he was like, okay, that one was like, okay, what do you want to do? Uh, like, he brought his own machine. I don't know what you call that machine. Is mm. it, um, it's like, he, has, he used to bring smoke. Like, I don't really know. Oh, the name. I, 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 okay, I don't even know the okay. name. So he was trying to, you know, I don't even know if, if he's a novice or something. He <laughs> was just trying to do it. I was like, ah, don't know how to do this. This was so <laughs> embarrassing that I got to call someone, I had to call someone. Ah. Well, shall, another thing is again is that, Using thermal foggers, mm. that machine that removes smoke, we, we people know that smoke fumigation in residential apartments is a no. You can't it's see. only a quack. So, so, it, so it seems he didn't even know what he was actually what doing. What are going to do? You get it? Mm-hmm. Because if you're going to be using a thermal fogger or a smoke fumigation, it should be in an open environment. You see, the way thermal fogger works is that if okay, you... So you can use thermal fogger for like land? You can use it for land. Okay. What does what does it work for? It, uh, it what kind works, of insects? It works for roaches. Does it, it works for. It works does it work for, for rodents? It doesn't work for rodents. Okay. It doesn't work for. Except, does, except if the rodents are actually like in a closed place, an enclosed place. What of smoke? You know, what of something like um snake? 
no 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 snakes they return to most of them like termites because termites are the main the main the main the problem see, to solve termites in, 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 no. in agriculture to solve termites issue right i'm, I'm still talking about that time to, to solve termites issue termites issue depends on the type of termites that is affecting okay you see pest control has to do with treating from the source you can't be fogging an open space whereas the colony of the termites is underground that's that's the question i was about to ask because because termites. because because this because yeah. this termites they are not only on the surface on the surface subterranean termites are, their colony is underground mm-hmm. so fogging on top of the surface is a waste of time a waste of resources. A labor boy, you done. A you know where. Waste of time. You get it. Exactly. You understand. So you need to understand. That's why I say pest identification is is very very important. Mm. Pest biology. Even clients, you also need to understand all these things. Right. Pest biology. Pest uh, identification is very important. You can't you can't get somebody that want to now. If I have a client that wants to do termites, I first ask, what type of termite are you dealing with? Are you seeing mud tubes? Like you can see the wall, you see all this brown, brown stuff on the wall. Mm-hmm. All those ones are subterranean termites. It means that they are coming outside to receive air. Okay. Do you understand? They are creating um, mud tubes to receive air. And afterwards, they go back into the colony, which is underground. Underground. Yeah. So, to now solve this problem, you need to trench the house, round the house. Let's say this is the house. You have to dig around the house like this. Then now pour your chemical, tomaticide, around, around the that house. house that you've treated, that you've mm-hmm. uh, trenched. Another method is if the floor is tiled, there's what we call drill, drill method. You will drill holes about a few meters away from each other. Drill holes around that same house. You need to, you need to drill, drill holes. The tiles. Drill the tiles down. Wow. You need to drill this because whatever you're going to apply should go down into the, the, the ground right so when you drill down the ground right drill down drill down then you can now use your knapsack uh, mouth go inside spray okay. let the chemical go inside that place then when you when it's inside already you can use something to cement and cover it back and you close it up again before you know it you'll be seeing more mm-hmm. tubes again mm-hmm. because the way the tomato side works i'm talking about pro- professional tomato side like premise the way they work is that they tend to hide themselves that the yeah. active ingredient tend to hide themselves let's say for example now termites are societal insects not even for example termites are societal insects like they work in, co- in colonies together colony, yeah. they're always going together so if one of them should touch that termite side the active ingredient just touch it right it carries into the colony all yeah. of them began to fire mm-hmm. around the chemical yeah. began to touch all of them before you know it all the colony there hmm. you see it's strategy you see pest control is simple now we now we make a <laughs> complex so i swear it's very very simple you know, <coughs> well you know if you don't understand something if you don't understand it's, it's, it's be bigger than you it's be- <laughs> <laughs> if you don't understand something it's bigger yeah, than it's you. you'll be like ah, this is hard now like, guy how you, how you do now, this thing? the second type of termites is jawu termites those ones that if you check your table you start seeing like dust on the floor People call them dust, but they are frass. They call them frass. Frass. Okay. You see, you start seeing them on the floor like this. Those ones are jar with tamatis. All you need to do is put your tamatis side inside the wood and spray the wood. Right? Mm-hmm. Spray the wood. Inject your chemicals inside the wood. They, will, they start the same process. They carry it into the colony. They wipe themselves with it. And they, all of them die like that. Mm-hmm. You get it? They, that's, that's the simple way to solve tamatis problem. Forgin, you see, forgin is now useless. Hmm. You understand? Using tamafoga is useless. So now, that person that used the tamafoga residential apartment, you need to sue the person. <laughs> if you put, I mean, that thing that cause fire. Or? No, if um, if, in that apartment there's hmm. there's nothing there, like no even furniture. There is no, even, the, even the fact that there is nothing, nothing there, it becomes okay. a problem, because in an open in in, in an airtight space, you are releasing smoke. When the smoke gets back into the machine, okay. you know this. What they are using is they are using pet, um, diesel. Okay, so they run mix. They mix diesel with the chemical. That's wow. one. 
Then the Tamafoga itself, you are using petrol to power it. Hmm. So you have diesel, petrol, petrol. mixed together with the chemical, chemical. with smoke wow. in your hand. Hmm. In an airtight container. I mean, airtight place. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of my mentors actually lost one of his staff with this time for guys. So that person, what happened was that that person was actually stuck inside the house, inside the place. Wow. So they forgot that somebody was inside. inside. You get it? Everybody gone. But they can't, you can't even see him because everywhere is already closed. But if it's an open space, do, do it's easy to detect. Easy to so places like warehouse. You can go to the extreme of the warehouse and start fogging the place that you walk yourself out to, to the, the door, entrance to the entrance back you see where we are getting things totally wrong communication communication proper identification the points you understand clear communication clear communication with the clients proper press identification no transparency and trust if you're not transparent, if you cannot tell you the truth, <clears throat> waste of time. So you pay me money now. I don't teach you. <laughs> 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 ah, you get this? Boy. Proper education. With the, you see, clients will even want to even pay. Mm. Because I've already sat you down. That guy that I was telling you yesterday, when he was complaining, I just listened. When he's done, and I told him. You see the way you spread your thing outside now. If he said, ah, I could not contain it. He has to carry the sofa outside. I said, Jesus, how do you carry your child outside? <laughs> Immediately, I was like, you see, you have to make a decision now because my technician is in Lagos. If you don't yeah, pay me yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have to spread all this outside. You have to spread the child outside. Ah, what I is said, coming in? You know what Anna told me? What I is coming in? condition. I said, the way the child is outside now, it means you need to take action now. It means you need to take action now. I know my technician is in Lagos now. You understand? And the guy is just finishing one job. He's already thinking of coming back to coming Ibadan. back. You get. I just quickly use scope. You know that thing, the chair. You need to actually treat it now. Hmm. You need to oh make yes. a decision now. Why oh, is it to increase? It to increase. You get it. But that's actually the truth. I know. I know. That's actually yeah, the truth. It's like killing. It's like killing. For me, it was like killing two birds with one stone. With one stone. You get. And again, I need him to actually solve that problem. Because now he was even telling me that the way the chair is outside, outside. It can actually infest other people. And that's true. It's true. Bedbug works based on transfer. Now you're sun drying the, the sofa. It means that bedbugs don't like it. So they will start to either go inside the sofa or they crawl out of that sofa. And when they, they crawl out, a cool place. look for a cool place. When they crawl out of that sofa, they are going to a different place entirely. Where are they going to somebody's house? Most people tell when the, the, the place that you put the sofa is around the hangar. Where for sign their clothes. Ah, ah, Damn. clothes. <laughs> you see now, some people get <laughs> pests because of the fact that they don't know A, B, C, and D about this pest. Hmm. I was in the car. I was in the bus coming from um, Lagos to Ibadan. Do you know that bus has chaman cockroaches inside? Was super infested. I still have that video. I've not edited it. For who are people that are following me on the SB Formation, I think I will. I will do that this week. Put it out there this week. This <laughs> Friday. It's, it's, one of, it's, it's one of our pest inside content. If I I'd shoot the content already. So, <laughs> so I'm gonna release that video on Friday. Friday, ah. this Friday. <clears throat> for those who are watching us on, on YouTube, watch out for the video on SB Fungation underscore service on Instagram. You see that 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 car, I mean that boss. <laughs> if it's you know, because these insects, Jamaica really don't like it. So as the boss was actually in motion, they were jumping out. Because uh-uh. of the heat. Because of the heat. <laughs> so we're jumping out. The next thing I'm seeing him crawling on my body. Ah, one more. Cockroach. Me, me, first thing first. I first snap. I first need video <laughs> first because I need content. <laughs> you know, I first need content first. I made my own video content first. And after making, after making the video content, I was like, ah, I'm just pitying these people. Because people did not even know. I'm going to slow. That's how they will carry. I mean, the funniest thing that some of these roaches that I, was, that I saw are actually pregnant. You call them hey gravid way. female, gravid, <laughs> gravid, gravid roaches, Giant. gravid female roaches. So when he's pregnant now, within one week, two weeks, if he carry go house, ha, ah. down and, they, and they give it <laughs> rapidly. Well, he increase our he increase our customer base. <laughs> <laughs> you get it. So if you increase, if you, if the, that person carries that 
which is to the house, mm. it becomes a problem. And they don't yeah, know. Very, very, very big, big problem. Big problem. You know, if you're listening, they will not know mm. until maybe after one month, two months. Two months. Then the professional level is not like, ah, but what do come? I get this, which is from? How come? How come? My house is neat. <laughs> Like you can't see it. Some clients will tell you I can't see a dust. You, guys you dust. can't see dust in my house. Like oh, yeah. <laughs> you get it. it means that the house is so clean, right? But because that house is so clean, you still have roaches inside. You still have bed bugs inside. It means that that insect was actually not from your place. Not from me. They were brought into your place based on transfer, mm. and that's because you do not take notice of all these things. The eggs is easy to see. The utica is easy to notice. The signs of bed works is easy to notice. Mm. Where you go to, you need to check for the signs of all this pest. You go to a hotel to maybe just take a rest. You get you need to check their bed. If there are no signs, if there are no fake house spots, if the eggs are not there, mm. if the adults are not there, if this the exoskeletons are not there, right? You need to check them. I went to camp. The first thing I went to check on that bed was bed bug. I could lolly. But I could wally. I first all touched that. If all those other people were looking at me like this, ah, keep on really? wow. <laughs> I said, you know what? Don't worry. Me, I'm a first culture of I know what I'm looking no, for. Here. No. Uh, uh. I get it. So that's you see, you have to you have to take cognizance of all these things. So if you cannot look at all these things properly, it mm-hmm. becomes a problem. So these are the first step that you need to also put into place. To get rid of every person in your apartment, from the client mm-hmm. to the professional pest control operator that will be operating on site. You know, we've had quite a number of uh, discussion here, and we just have three minutes before we hand up the show. Like right now, I, I really thought it was a really good because actually very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about pest control is like really, really whole lot for me. I, I just love it. Honestly, I love it. I love it. I love it. Fantastic. No, it's. Well, I've I've learned I've learned a lot. <laughs> in this in this, <laughs> in this show those those within this one hour few, <laughs> few minutes i so uh, it, i've learned a lot you know, and like i even you know educate my own my own client you get it kind okay, educate my you own see, client you, see, too, you, you know see i let them know how it works how this thing works <laughs> you see now if you get to know it you transfer to your clients if your clients get to know it they transfer to the yeah, mm. siblings. When they get to know it, that's exactly how we solve the problem. It's, you see, without with time, we tend to see that or more. We can't see mosquitoes anymore. We can't see malaria anymore, right? Mm. I was talking to someone yesterday, and I said that I told her that where I kept my generator, I started noticing like flies there because of the tire that I kept there. And to solve that problem, I don't need to spray. What I just need to do is, or take that gen away. Take the tire away for a while, then it scatters the flies. That's what we call habitat alteration. Okay. You get that's what we call habitat alteration. Sometimes you don't need to spray. Sometimes you just need to change their location, like just mm. take away what is keeping them What's there. Keeping them there. Huh. You so. get it. Just keeping them there. That's why pest control operator inspection is key. So you need to inspect inspect the facility. Inspect your location for before you do first, before you do anything. Don't be everything could just call you bed bug, you carry your knapsack, they go, they run, they go. You could just carry you just kidnap you one. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, we had a lot of, lot, of, lot of conversation here and we just have two more minutes to go. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for those who listen and those who are gonna be watching us directly on YouTube. Thank you very much for you know joining the show. My name is Shofu Balati. Do you have any comments? Last comments, we have just one minute to go. Any so I'll just I'll just you know just tell, thirty minutes thirty seconds. Just tell tell everyone to you know like take note of what of what we we'll discuss in this show today. Yeah. Because we can't really do this alone. Exactly. We need to work hand in hand with the client. With the client. Sure. To know the problem and how to fix the problem. Fantastic, fantastic. Mm. You have to work directly with the client. the client. Like I said, my name is Shofu Valati of Loss, and here is the best experience. So I see you same time, same moment, same station, Inside Radio Net, YouTube, Inside Radio, LinkedIn, Insta Radio, Instagram, Inside Radio. And you can follow me on LinkedIn, Shofu Babalola, SB Fumigation for short. You can also follow us on our SB Fumigation service. This show is pro- proudly sponsored by SB Fumigation Service. Do have a wonderful night rest. Good night.